Hey guys and thanks for joining me in this video. Today I'm going to show you a very exciting makeup collection and this is the new Dior 2019 Fall Makeup Collection Power Look. I'm not going to lie, this is definitely my favorite fall makeup collection and I'm very excited to film this video. I'm going to talk a little bit about the collection and actually in one of my previous videos I've already shown you swatches from almost all products from this collection so if you want to go ahead and check this out I'm going to have a link in the description box but today I'm going to show you mainly my picks from this makeup collection of course I'm going to show you also some swatches from different products but if you want to see all the swatches I'm going to have a link to that video now to be honest I was very excited to get my hands on this makeup collection and the first person to show me photos from this makeup collection was my very good friend Tavia and she's one of the very first beauty bloggers. If you don't know her I'm going to have um, her blog written on the screen because she is one of the first beauty bloggers and if you are into luxury makeup and if you like new releases she is showing all the new releases um, of luxury makeup. I'm sure that a lot of you know her but just in in case you don't, uh, this is the blog that I like following and this is the blog that I, I read. I've been following Tavia for many, many, many years and thanks Tavia for always showing me the new products. So back to the year 2019 fall makeup collection. This collection was created by Peter Phillips, who as you probably know is the makeup creative and color director for Dior makeup and to create this full makeup collection Peter Phillips was inspired by the urban woman. I have to say that I am absolutely loving this makeup collection because it is for the powerful woman, it's for the powerful urban woman but it's also very feminine and all of the colors in this collection are so well put together. This is my dream collection because it is strong, it's powerful, but at the same time it's very feminine and it's very easy to wear. So I, I liked Chanel's makeup collection but somehow it doesn't inspire me to wear it on a daily basis. Definitely I would say that Chanel's makeup collection is a good one but it's definitely something that you have to think when you wear it whereas Dior's makeup collection well I am very confident to say that this time this fall Peter Phillips definitely took Dior to the top and yeah this is definitely by far I think the best makeup collection you know that I'm not a person who tries and tr who buys all makeup collections but I'm I definitely love Dior makeup Chanel makeup I love Guerlain um, I love YSL this is a makeup collection that is suitable for everyone and I would say that this is a makeup collection that is easy to wear even if you're a beginner it's very easy to combine the colors, it's very easy to create a very nice, very beautiful, chic look, but at the same time look feminine and well put together. There are... the colors are very suitable for the fall season without being too dark, without being too overwhelming, without being too much of a colors that you really have to think, oh, how am I going to wear, how am I going to put this makeup look together? Now I've already tried uh, the eyeshadows, I've already tried the lip products and I have to say that they are very easy to wear, they blend beautifully and I'm happy with all of the products that I got from this makeup collection. There are also very beautiful nail polishes from which I like the beige color um, the most but I have quite a few beige colors so that's why I decided to skip this one. So let's go ahead and try all of the products on my face. Today on my face I'm wearing only Dior products and everything is going to be in the description box below. Okay, so now we are going to try everything um, or almost everything on my face and I'm definitely going to have more videos dedicated to this makeup collection because this is absolutely my favorite fall makeup collection and I know that I'm going to be using a lot this collection. This is the collection that gets me the most excited and I really want to use the eyeshadow palette. So this is going to be the very first time when I use this eyeshadow palette. And yesterday actually I tried the liquid eyeshadow and it's brilliant. I did a look for I think 30 seconds or so. It was less than a minute definitely. I just um, put the color all over my eyelid and a little bit on the crease and it looks so gorgeous it looks so beautiful um, and I think I'm going to show you how this looks on my eyes first and then probably I'm going to add 
one more color from the eyeshadow palette but I really want to show you how this looks because this is brilliant for anyone who is working um, or if you don't have time or if you just want to make your if you just want to do your makeup very quickly I think this is brilliant so this is the color I have taupe it's almost a matte color like it has a very very tiny sheen it's not shimmer and it's almost a matte color and it makes me feel so confident when I wear it. So I'm just going to pop the color. Uh, you don't have to be precise here and this is the best thing about this. I was thinking that this was going to be quite tricky to apply and I was thinking that you have to be really precise. No, you don't have to be precise. But still it's good to, to use a brush to blend it a little bit. Yesterday I did that with fingers and it worked beautiful but... I think that today I'm just going to use a brush to quickly blend it. Okay, and it gives you a very, very light, very beautiful wash of color. And if you just add some mascara, you're good to go and this look will take you no more than one minute. I mean the eyeshadow application will take you no more than one minute and then obviously you have to apply some mascara. So usually this kind of liquid eyeshadows are very tricky to use and you have to work very fast and they usually don't blend beautifully but these are different and I'm very pleasantly surprised. I don't know if the other colors are going to be the same. I saw that one of the colors was very shimmery and I didn't want to get that because I liked this color and I was actually expecting this to be more shimmery but I'm happy that it's not. So if you make a mistake somewhere, just use a Q-tip and remove that part of the eyeshadow. So the good thing about this product is that you don't need a lot of blending. Even if you're a beginner, you can do just fine. And you can apply this color all over your eyelid. You can go in the crease and, and as you can see, I actually applied the eyeshadow a little bit above the crease. Now, it usually dries for less than a minute, probably for 20 seconds, it's already dry. And if you apply the eyeshadow like I did and you go in the crease, so just quickly do like that once it's dry. And this is going to remove any, any excess product and you're not going to have excess product, which is quite frustrating if you leave it that way. So just make sure to remove the excess product if you're going to apply the eyeshadow um, in the crease as well. So I'm going to be using this color right here, which is definitely my favorite color from this eyeshadow palette. It's such a gorgeous color. And also I have to say that on camera it doesn't look as good as in real life. This one eyeshadow that I applied looks very very beautiful and very soft in real life but usually when you are on camera things look a little bit different. Camera usually likes very heavy makeup. And I really like the patterns on this palette. Um, as you can see, this looks... I'm showing it now because I'm probably going to ruin the patterns now. So the pattern is actually like an eye, you can see. And here are the lashes. So this is the power look. And both palettes from this collection have the same pattern which I think is very interesting and that's why I just wanted to share it with you. So going in with this color and I'm just going to apply this on top. I think this eyeshadow is going to be very beautiful alone and I like the combination of colors here because you can do so many different looks. I really like this collection um, and I'm definitely very very excited to use it. So I'm just going to intensify the color a little bit. Um, on my nails, I have the nail polish Wild Earth from the Summer Makeup Collection because I know that usually a lot of you are asking what I'm wearing on my nails and I usually forget to list that in the description box. So on my nails today I have Wild Earth and this is from the Summer Makeup Collection. I know that this nail polish unfortunately was not released everywhere. So now I'm going to get the pale shade right here and I'm going to apply this in the inner corners of my eye just to highlight the look. Very good quality of the eyeshadows. 
They are not insanely pigmented, but I usually really don't like insanely... I don't like some of these uh, modern, really, really super pigmented colors because they fall down a lot and then you have to clean up and um, and it's just not my type of look and it's just not my type of thing but this is so chic so elegant definitely my type of look please excuse my hair um i know it's quite messy today but now i'm going to take this color and apply it on my lower lash line so i just decided to intensify the look a little bit more so i used the darkest shade right here and i used just a little bit in the crease in the very outer part of my crease just to intensify the look a little bit and i really really like the result so this is with the mascara on and i want to apply some blusher and the reason why i didn't get any of the blushers is because i recently got this one and i'm in love with this blusher i highly highly encourage you to get this one or to try this one if you see it somewhere. It's a really, really beautiful blusher. Actually, I'm going to apply lipstick first so that we can see how much of a blusher I need. And for lips, I have two products. This is this new lip product. So I'm first going to apply this one and then I'm going to show you this one. This is definitely my color. This is so me. It's ultra ambitious and it's that beautiful brown color. So I feel like wearing this one, but I'm going to show you first this one. So this is how it looks. As you can see, it's not pinkish at all. I mean, it's pinkish, but it's a very sophisticated and very elegant pink that you can wear everywhere. You can wear this in the office. It's usually very hard to wear pink color and to look elegant. This is one of the very, very few pink lipsticks that I own that makes me feel confident and makes me feel elegant. And I feel like you can't always wear pink. So this is quite extraordinary. This is very, very beautiful color. It gives that softness. It has that feminine look, but at the same time, it's very, very serious. It's very elegant and it's a pink that you can, you can always wear and you are never going to, you can't go wrong with this kind of really beautiful dusty pink color. Okay, so now time for blusher and as I said, I'm going to use this blush right here. It gives you that youthful appearance and it gives some light to the face. So if you're in the market for that kind of blush, that's going to give you some... Uh, we all want to look young, but this one looks unexpectedly fresh and at the same time it's very easy to wear. And I'm going to be using this bronzer right here. This is a palette that I love and I did a full review of this palette. And I really like it. So I'm going to use just lightly. And for highlight, I'm going to be using my favorite Dior Luminizer. Chanel's lipsticks this year from this fall makeup collection are quite drying on the lips. So if you have dry lips, I wouldn't recommend getting one of those because the Rouge Allure liquid powders are a bit drying or you can use a lip balm uh, underneath. But these, you don't really need to use lip balm. They feel very comfortable on the lips. It's very velvety and it's it feels very comfortable. Okay, so now time to try this lipstick. Okay, guys, and this is this lipstick. And I really like it. It's like the perfect office lipstick. So I communicate with a lot of you on a daily basis on Instagram. And I was very, very surprised to learn that a lot of you don't like this makeup collection. And I really don't understand why. Now, of course, we all have different opinions, but I really have to say that I love this makeup collection. By the way, if you're on Instagram, I would be very happy if we could connect because on Instagram we can kind of communicate on a daily basis. And So back to the yours makeup collection. You are definitely going to see me using this makeup collection a lot. This is a makeup collection that I would wear. This is a makeup collection. This is the kind of makeup collection that I absolutely love. Many reasons why I love this makeup collection, but I think this makeup collection is very beautiful because it has something for everyone. Um, you can create many different looks. I like both eyeshadow palettes. 
I just want to say that I like almost all products from this makeup collection except for the eyeliners which are quite electric they are inspired by the neon lights of the city however I am an old-fashioned person and I don't like them and I wouldn't wear that really bright green and bright orange eyeliners so these are the products that I would definitely skip from this makeup collection just not my cup of tea but all the other products I would say are stunning. There are liquid eyeshadows, which I think are very, very suitable for anyone who works in an office. It blends very beautifully and it gives such a beautiful soft effect. And there are four shades available. I have one of those. Um, and I'm tempted to get one more, but um, unfortunately I have such a huge makeup collection that I really prefer to try different things but definitely um, if I was not beauty blogging this was going to be the only makeup collection that I was going to get and I love it so well done from Peter Phillips this season so I think that's all for today's video please don't forget to subscribe like and leave me a comment and let me know what you think of this makeup collection do you like it and are you planning to get some pieces from this makeup collection let me know what you think I really like chatting with you and I hope to see you in my next video please subscribe I would very very highly appreciate it if you subscribe and turn the notification bell on because I don't post on a regular basis like I don't have a real schedule for posting videos and that that's how you're going to get a notification every time when I post a video um, this is mainly because YouTube is not everything that I do this is something that I do on the site and I really enjoy it however I cannot um, I still I cannot afford to post videos on a regular basis so I would really highly appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel and turn the notification bell on Thank you so much for watching my video and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!